Welcome back to the channel, guys. On today's video, we're gonna try to get this thing cleaned up some more, and we're gonna do some work to the bed and the aluminum on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the top with these right here, uprights here. The only thing I'm gonna do is probably scuff them and shoot them. We just wanna freshen them up a little bit. We're probably gonna freshen this up in the video as well. So what's left is the uprights. I need to pull them off. Probably just red scotch bright those and uh, rattle can them. Just give it a, just, you know, just like freshen up just a little bit. So when I said I was wanting to work on the bed, I was really wanting to polish the bed out. I ordered this right here, Zephyr kit here. It's a super shine kit. I've ordered these before in the past. I haven't ordered this for, you know, exact kit here, but I've ordered one similar to it. You have three different pads. And on these kits here, you use the outside. You don't use the inside like, you know, a regular buffing pad or whatever. One does the cutting, one does the coloring, and one does the finishing. Same as with these Rouge bars here. It kind of tells you what goes on here as well. You know, like the white is the final finish here. You know, the high luster. I think this right here, orange, is the cut, primary cutting aluminum. And this one right here might be the secondary cut, which it is. Also have this safety flange adapter. So this is what I'm gonna try to use to polish the bed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna polish the inside of the bed or not. I thought about just shooting bed liner on that, but I really like to polish the outside of the bed. I wanna polish that, the sides and maybe the front if I can. Still thinking about painting the inside of the golf cart, you know, just so you don't see it, you know. But that's kind of kind of where I'm at. So I'm not saying we're going to do it, but this is what I'm going to try because I would like to have something semi-shiny. And I mean, you know, there's a little bit of shine there, but I want to see something cooler than this. Now, I'm not going to be able to get all the way in here. So we're just going to do the very best we can. I am not a professional polisher. I made a video before I polished a... Um, toolbox on a truck a few years back and them things right here stay polished for like a year or so and then you have to redo it again but anyways that's what i'm gonna do on this video that's ba basically what this video is going to be about is trying to get this thing polished out so you got the pad on the pad spins one way so you can't put it on either other way so it's got a direction where it spins you need to do that once you do that load the rouge on the end down here and you're gonna cut this right here is before and that's just a little quick cut there so i'm gonna keep doing this right here not exactly sure if i'm gonna show the entire process or not but maybe we'll stop along the way and i'll kind of show you progress opinion and that's just a little quick pass there on that top rail there's some spots I could probably go back and really take my time but that's a difference here versus here see what I'm saying so I might go back might go back over this right here one rail again I might come in here and try to cut down in there a little bit. I'm gonna try to get this section done. Maybe work some more sections, but I'll try to pick you back up. I don't plan on doing this to the inside of the bed. I don't plan on it, but we'll see where it goes. Still got some, you know, down here I need to get. But like I said, I'm not a professional, I'm just a noob. Got this kit on Amazon. 
If you're interested in this kit, I'll place it down, a link to the kit down in the description below where you could do it at. And uh, try to pick yourself up one as well. But I'll pick the camera back up in just a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say that's too bad. That was just a cut. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm getting in here, I couldn't get all the way up in there. Couldn't get into the corners since the, uh, the, the tool was round. But for the most part, that looks a lot better than that. Maybe the next couple of steps will look uh, even better. And um, maybe I can go to maybe Harbor Freight or something. Give me something small to do inside of here. Well, it's uh, quarter to 10. I've been working on it for a few hours. This is the first stage. And uh, I know it's not perfect. This is generally like my second time doing it. I got the front done there. I haven't wiped it off. Got this side done. I left that undone because that's where the one of the fenders is going to go. That side's done. The front's there, done. This side, done as well. And the tailgate. You can barely see it down here on the tailgate. The tailgate's done as well. I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Just an old cart. Well, it's far from being perfect, but it's now clean and it's got a little shine to it. I would say the tailgate's probably the worst. The tailgate has a problem anyway. Uh, it doesn't stay latched. You can just pull it out. You have to actually lift up on it to get it in place because the bushing inside the tailgate is worn out. And what they want for the bushing assembly, to me, it's not worth it. So what I've done is I've ordered a, um, like a cooler latch that I'm going to put on the inside in here. And um, so I can keep the bed kind of shut. You know, that didn't get polished in there. For the most part, it looks fine. You know, I'm sure I could go in here and really take my time and really detail it out perfectly. I just don't know if it's worth it or not. The sides, side bottoms, they're both okay. These right here, flat portions here are a lot better. You can see the reflection so much easier down in here. I mean, you can still see the reflection, but off camera, I think the bed sides look better than the sides. The front's about the same. The back's about the same. In the corners I couldn't get, obviously because the, you know, the machine is round, you can't get to the corners. So like I said, I could probably go in there and do something there. Not sure if I will or I won't. There it is, this right here step. I wouldn't say it's done, but it's, it's done error. So gotta start working on something else now. I think that something else is get this in here clean because this is extremely, extremely filthy from disassembling and polishing and everything else. So this bed, the inside, you know, it could use a polishing too. I'm not gonna polish the inside. There's some rust there off of that little bracket. This right here has like chips in the bed and the bottom. So I'm thinking about just taking a razor blade, cutting the rubber out and rapture line the inside of the bed and the tailgate itself. Polisher, grinder again. Got this wheel here. This is what people use to rough up a bed, like a painted bed on a truck or whatever. I'm gonna use this right here. I'm trying to just scuff this right here bed up a little bit. Probably what I'll do is I'll end up kicking the bed up so I don't have to bend over and get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and 
handle this right here and just scuff this bed up as much as I can before we wrap the inside of it. All right, so the day is now Wednesday. I didn't work on this at all yesterday. So we need to start busting tail to get this in here knocked out. Uh, aluminum stuff still looks good. Something got on it, just kind of ran down it. On the sides here, that's fine looking. The Raptor liner, I think that looks a lot better. One spot got really shiny there for some reason, but here is what it looks like so i know we need to start painting the uprights and the roof but before we put the uprights on here we need to replace these fenders so i think i'm gonna replace the front fenders i'm gonna install the rear fenders on both sides put the lights in there as well let's go ahead and take this cow off here expose it and come in here and probably wash some of this right here off clean all of this right here as much as we can this is for charging here um we're gonna probably won't do the cow on today uh we'll probably do that on the next video because we're gonna replace the horn and got some other electronics that we're gonna replace this right here with as well this is the 12 volt fuse or not a fuse block, but it's a 12 volt um, location there, a terminal. And we have a negative down here as well. That's going to the stock 16 amp DC to DC converter. We need to replace the headlights because I got new headlights. I need to clean and paint these bezels, the grill, and this bezel as well. Well, I get some of that done on today's video also. I still got a lot of stuff to do, but I really want to get this right here semi put back together on this right here video. So that's what we're going to work on. All right, so these fenders here, they have a bolt on the outside that goes through the upright. It's a 10 millimeter bolt here. And two more bolts underneath there as well. Got that pulled off and that now pulls away. So that kind of, you know, looks like a DS right there. That's probably the same as a DS, other than a couple of these other braces here. But we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to get the lights off, get those unplugged, start washing them, painting some things. It really looks weird now with both of those fenders off. That's what it looks like. I'm going to come in here, I think, next. Take the light brackets off. Get those right here washed. We might even take the whole cart, push it outside. Uh, why I blow it off either, you know, hose it down or whatever. All right, so these are the old LED headlights. 
the old turn signals. I'm replacing them with just stock clear headlights. I'm gonna replace this bulb with an LED one. I got some new turn signals because I just wanted to freshen it up. Probably replace that bulb with a LED one as well. On the front grill, went ahead and painted this black, painted that black as well. I forgot I had this right here little door. This goes in the center here and you open it up to pull the extension cord out. Also want to make it legit, put the club car badge back on there as well. This is a bracket for the glove box, which is right there. I got a lockable glove box with a key. So we'll put that on in a little bit. All right, that looks a ton better. Slides out the way, pull the extension cord out to charge it, put it back in there. This was for a 48 volt DC 22 amp max. Not exactly sure there what they did with that. I have to look back on the uh, parts diagram to see what that's about, but I'm digging that door. I think that looks clean right there. So I like that. All right, take number 322 from out the compressor turning on. Things falling in the shop. The shop's a mess. It's jam-packed. I've been working on this one cart here this week, and we're getting it ready to take on spring break with us. That's kind of the reason I've been, I wouldn't say cutting corners, but like on the bed here. The bed looks good polished. The body looks decent, but like right there in the corners, I couldn't get those with the polisher. We we'll maybe address those after spring break is over with. Probably get like a little Dremel tool going there and polish those up as well. Um, we went ahead and got both rear fenders on and the lights installed. The lights are hooked up. We have running lights, tail lights, brake lights, and hazards. So everything's working there. I did not order this centerpiece here because it really wasn't bad. Okay, so. I went ahead and just saved the money there. We just need to clean it. We did get the bed liner sprayed with the Raptor inside the bed. And that looks very good there. I added some hooks in here, a foot back, so I can place my cooler in here. And then when we're driving, if we want to access the cooler, I can just reach back, open the cooler, and it's there. The problem is, I got them too short, so I'm about to run up town a little bit to get some more supplies. So I'm gonna get some longer um, eye bolts there. I'm thinking about putting another one, say a foot back from here and a foot back from here as well. Notice I put the latches in here for the cooler. So now the tailgate will stay shut. Uh, before the tailgate was just falling down and, and basically the tailgate back here, a bushing is loose on that. So if you rock it up and put it in place, it'll work until you hit a bump and it falls down and, and just falls out. Now, the hardware to replace the tailgate or replace the tailgate hardware latch system, more than a hundred bucks, I wanna say. So for this cart here, I only paid a grand for the cart. These are here cooler latches. They're gonna have to work fine. And I think they will. You know, the Raptor bed liner looks good. The bed looks pretty good. The body looks decent. Um, what else have we done? I put the glove box in. It's got a little, it's a little loose, but I got it in, okay. And I got a key in here to lock this right here as well. What I'm thinking about doing is going there on this latch here. I'm gonna just take the latch, maybe mount a piece of plastic on the back of it, just to free up some of that room there. And I think we'll be good. I fixed the brake pedal last night. The brake pedal, the reason I got this golf cart for a grand with batteries running kinda, the batteries were shot. But the reason I got it for a grand, the brake pedal, the two plastic brackets that holds it to the frame, they were missing. And somebody had hit something on the bottom of this cart and completely tore them off. So they kinda rigged it up. And they really didn't have a way of figuring it out. I did. I guess they didn't know you could just buy the uh, the two little brackets off of Amazon. So I put those brackets on there last night. I put this brake pedal on there last night as well. So that's done. The headlights are in. So I'm still waiting for the LED uh, bulbs uh, replacements to come in today. 
the charger. I get that door fixed. I just need to put two more bolts in the bottom of this right here will be done. This right here headlight is done as well. I'm gonna leave the body off. We did clean this right here in this episode as well. And late last night, I came in here, painted some things black just to have some things here underneath the cart. But not really like a, a lot of stuff done. Maybe, maybe kind of a lot of stuff done. Cleaning the bed was a lot of work. Uh, the Raptor lining looks a lot better in the bed. Uh, still a lot more stuff to do. In the next video, we're gonna get the electronics going in here. And I got some cool electronics I've never done before. Um, the last time that I've been around one of these things, well, I just don't want to spoil it. And last time that I've been around one of these electronics, we were at the beach camping and some buddies from town was here and we were all went together. It was a bunch of us. And um, we had some, um, you know, like some trail sodas, you know what I mean? And it was late at night. We are supposed to have been up, you know, it was during quiet hours. And um, I was riding a buddy of mine's cart and he was like, you drive, I just want to ride listen to music. I was like, okay. So we're just kind of playing hide and go seek with a couple of other buddies with the golf carts at the campground. Well, we ran into a security guard and um, we lied to him at first, told him we didn't know where we were at. You know what I mean? We've been to this place a thousand times. And then he sees, saw us on, he sees us, he saw us on the other side of the campground. He kind of questioned us. We well, went to question us. Well, my buddy, hits the switch and um, you'll kind of know in maybe the next episode, well not the next episode, maybe, I'm not sure, on this on this electronic device and it scared me half to death like, oh crap. So so I hit the gas, I'll run. And um, it was an easy go RXV, the AC motor. It was on like 28, um, it wasn't fast at all. The, the, the guy was in a car, he had to turn the car around, but we were kind of like hitting alleyways and dirt roads in this campground trying to get away from this guy. And um, that was not my first time running from law enforcement. That's, you know, that's, that's another story for another time. I've done some stupid things in my life. Um, it don't matter how fast you are, you can never outrun that Motorola. And, um, but anyways, we got one of these electronic devices we're putting on this cart here as well. And I hope I don't get in trouble with it. Um, I'm not going to be stupid enough to, you know, to hit it in front of cops or, you know what I mean? Security guards and stuff like that. So anyways, that will be probably on the electronics portion of this right here. We got a new radio, some speakers, that, I got a new horn. I got all kinds of things on here that we're going to put on here. Not too many lights in this episode or next episode, but... We'll see what's going on. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Have a good one. I don't know what I was going to say. Bye.